What up Mikey's crew, it's your good friend Michael here, I'm doing another video game pickups video. For this month, it is the month of September of the year 2021. Please forgive me for <laughs> everything you see behind me that looks like a mess in my game room. Um, I'm going through right now and replacing some of my cases that uh, are not in the greatest of shape. And I'll be getting like um, replacement cases for them. And that's why you see all this stack of games here above my head. There's a lot of PlayStation 2 cases that need to be changed out. Um, we don't have the usual view today, uh, obviously, as you can tell, I'm in a little bit different spot in, in the game room. So, as per usual, with the pickups video here, I will be starting with um, stuff that's video game stuff, but obviously they're not video games. It's going to be strategy guide, instruction manual, Nintendo Power Magazines, and actually one handheld um, system I picked up this month. And then we'll be going through uh, my games I ended up getting this month from both online and from in-store. So, without further ado, I will get started. So the first thing I'll show you is I got an Adventures of Lolo 2 instruction manual. I had the game in box but did not have the manual for it. So I found one on eBay and that's where I got this from. It's in uh, pretty good shape. All right. I got myself a purple Game Boy Color. This was not the exact same one, obviously, I had as a kid, but um, I had a purple one that I... I did have a purple one when I was a kid, and I found this at the Broken Sword, and I wanted to get one back in my collection ever since I sold it off uh, quite a while ago, because um, I stopped playing games on Game Boy Color once I got the Game Boy Player, and obviously I could play them also on SP and so that was the reason really why I sold off my Game Boy Color first. But I wanted to get one to get back in the collection again so I'm really excited to have that. Alright, moving on to uh, strategy guides and, and Nintendo Prime magazines. This I got from Double Jump Games. I got a Metroid Other M strategy guide. And then some Nintendo Power magazines I picked up. Um, I believe these all came from, yeah, these all came from Respawn and Replay, which is a game store in Canada. Um, not all of these ha have the posters, but this was one I didn't get for a while because of the price of it. I got it this time. It did not come with the poster, but that's okay. This is issue number 75, which talks about the Virtual Boy. Issue 112 with F0X on the cover. Issue 117 with Mario Party. 139 with Banjo Tooie. 159 with Mickey and the Magical Mirror. And then this was probably the one that cost the most, I think, uh, probably just because of what's on the cover. But this is issue 165, uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And those were these were actually the last Nintendo Power magazines that um, Respawn and Replay actually had that I did not have. So now I'll be trying... I don't ever find Nintendo Power magazines, unfortunately, in person at any game store I go to. So I know that Double Jump Video Games... The, um, one of the stores I buy from online, they have some Nintendo Power magazines. They get them in um, once in a while. I'll be checking on there. And I'll probably be looking on eBay as well to uh, get some also. I'm still probably missing probably about 70 or so issues. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, under 100, which is good. But I still have a while to go and A lot of the ones I need, unfortunately, are a lot of the earlier issues, which I know are going to cost me. A little bit more money especially issue number one um, so if I can find that one at a decent price I'd be very happy okay now moving on to the games uh, I'll start with Wii games first even though this is a pretty big say actually I'll start with Xbox 360 games first since none of these are really that great 
Um, first up, I got got some stickiness on one of the cases. I got Enemy Front. Uh, Indianapolis 500 Evolution. And then the last game I got is the History Channel Civil War A Nation Divided. So I like playing shooter games and racing games, obviously, and you could tell by what I got. The Civil War game I remember I got from Fanfare because it was the only game I got there. Um, Enemy Front I think I got from Disc Traders. And then the Indianapolis 500 game, I actually got from a game store in Houghton Lake when we were coming back from vacation. We stopped there to play around a round of mini golf at Pirates Cove, and they had a video game store in the area. Uh, I think it's called Geek Games and More, um, if I remember correctly what the name of it was. And I probably picked up, I don't know, five or six games, maybe, maybe, maybe between five and eight games from there. Um, they were all, you know, cheap games. I didn't get anything really expensive or anything. Um, but, you know, it was a pretty cool game store. They had some, uh, uh, board games there, strategy guide games, you know, pretty good selection of video games as well for every console. But like I said, there wasn't anything really rare that, that I got from there. Just, you know, a few games here and there that, that were on my list. Okay, now I'll move on to Wii games. I uh, got six games this month for the Wii. First up, I got Indianapolis 500 Legends. So, <laughs> there, there's that one, and then there's the 500 Evolution one. I wonder if they're made by the same company. Oh, yeah, they actually are. They're made by the same company. Um, Madagascar 2, Escape to Africa. Uh, Disney Think Fast, The Ultimate Trivia Showdown. Disney's Bolt and Disney and Pixar Wally. -E. And then this one I got from my wife Kathleen. She loves playing mystery games. So I got Agatha Christie and then there were none. So actually, most of the Wii games I got came from um, side quest games online. I know the Agatha Christie game did. And I'm pretty sure Wally -E and Bolt and the Disney game did as well. Um, who know? Actually, I may have gotten all of them from there. For, but so I got a few more Wii games this month. Next, I'll move on to. Well, actually, I'll say PlayStation Two because there's actually a pretty um, hard to find game in there. And I'll move on to P PlayStation Four. All right, so. I got dr the game Drive Club. I think this one I got from Geek Games and, and more as well. And then I got Gran Turismo Sport. This has PlayStation VR mode included on it. Um, but I don't have a PlayStation VR, so I'll just be playing it with the regular. That's what, on, on the TV. That game I got from Second Chance. And I think the Drive Club game might have come from there, but I can't remember for sure. This one... Um, I know this one came from Double Jump Games. This one is actually factory sealed, but you know it was a cheap game, so I figured, what the heck? Let, let's go ahead and get it. And I got it's Project Cars. You can see the price on it, fourteen ninety nine. I'm not a sealed collector in any ways. Uh, just picking that up because you know it's been a game I've been looking for, and if it was sealed, it's not that big of a deal to me. And then this one came from GameStop. This was when I was when we were up north. I went to uh, GameStop in Marquette, and I got th I know I got three games from there. I think actually that they might have all been like brand new ones that I ended up picking up. Um, and that is Human Fall Flat. It's the anniversary edition. I tried to see if there was like one that was not the anniversary edition, like just a regular release for for this. I I looked on eBay, could not find. Any of them. Oh, there's my cat walking by. <laughs> Could not find any that were just regular releases, so I figured, what the heck? I'll just pick it up. Um, it was 15 bucks, so not that bad. Brand new. All right, just got kind of a random stack of games here, unless I want to show PlayStation 3 next. Nah, I'll wait. I'll show just my random stack here. So from The Broken Sword, I got one Game Boy game, which I don't really pick up a lot of Game Boy games, 
Um, just handhelds, I guess, haven't been much of a focus for me. I'm more into getting games for consoles instead of handhelds. I don't play a lot of handheld gaming. Um, even though I do have quite a few games I think I'm looking for for like DS and 3DS. Um, but I got, I, I mean, with the, with going over the Broken Sword, they don't have, they have some games, they don't have a ton to look through, unlike some of the other stores I go to, where by the time I have got to my limit that I've set for myself for the number of games I'm looking for, I'm not looking at handheld games. Anyways, I got Looney Tunes Twubble. And then I got one Genesis game, and this came from Second Chance, and it's actually a loose one. But I'm sure this will actually be pretty easy to find a complete copy. It's, it's a sports game. Um, and this is Michael Andretti Racing. So if you like playing Top Gear for, like, Super Nintendo, um, this is kind of just like that. It has, like, kind of, like, the same view. So that's why I ended up picking that up. Kathleen found one game for herself when um, we were at that Geek Games. Um, yeah, I think I think that's what the name of the store is called. But if you just want to look it up, well, you're tra if you're in Michigan and traveling, um, it's in Houghton Lake. So if you know, just type in video game store in Houghton Lake on Google if you really want to look for it. Um, but anyways, the name of this game is Fantasy Aquarium. And I think they also had this for the Wii as well, from what I've seen. So you get to like. Um, play with like pets you never would be able to put like in a fishbowl or anything like whales, dolphins, things like that. All right, I got two games for the Switch here. One I ended up finding at Disc Traders and that is Monopoly. And then the other one came from the GameStop and Marquette and this is sealed as well, but like I said, not really collecting sealed stuff. It just happened to get it and it was like that. And this is from my wife, Kathleen. She likes playing building games and stuff. Like She likes playing Animal Crossing. She likes doing those kind of like um, easy games that, are, that aren't stressful. So got her Minecraft. And then two Xbox One games. First one here came from Second Chance, and that's Forza Motorsport 6. So I'm getting close to having all the Forza games right now. Um, they do... The Forza games kind of do hold their value a little bit, so... There, I haven't been picking a lot of them up just because of the fact they have been a little bit more. I, they're not like super expensive. It's not like, you know, when they come out, they're like 60 bucks. You know, it's it's not like they're holding the value at like $40. It's more like 25 to $30, I would say. And then finally, I decided to pick this up. And this is Life is Strange 2. And once again, it's factory sealed right now. But I'm not getting the games because they're sealed. It's just, or, you know, and, and plan on keeping these sealed. That's not my intention. I don't keep sealed games. Um, I always take them out of their packaging once I get around to playing them. Okay, next up I will talk about Sega Genesis games I got. <laughs> All right, so I got three. Oh, well, besides the... Uh, Michael Andretti one. I guess I did get three other Genesis games this month. The first one here came off of eBay, and this is a uh, the hardcover variant of this game. They also do have it in just like a, a like a soft box, like you would if it was like a um, Nintendo or Super Nintendo game. But I but with Genesis games, if they do have the hardcover variants, I do always go for like the the, the clamshell ones instead of having the the the, the soft box. Um, and that is Monopoly. So not like a really expensive game, but it was complete with the manual. has a poster in there, but the poster to me isn't that big of a deal. And then the cartridge is very clean on it as well. And then the last two here I got from uh, The Broken Sword. And I think, yeah, if I remember right, these are both complete as well. And these also have kind of like the same exact kind of style of play as Top Gear does on Super Nintendo and that's Lotus Turbo Challenge and then the, the sequel to it Lotus 2 so I look forward definitely to playing both of those since I like the, the, the Top Gear games on Super Nintendo okay next up I will talk about the PlayStation 1 games I picked up 
The first one came from the store here in Houghton. Not, the, yeah, the first game I'm going to show came from the store up in Houghton Lake. And that is Nagano Winter Olympics 98. For some reason, I could never find this game on PS1. Um, you could find this game on N64 all the time, but for some reason could never find the PlayStation 1 version. So I don't know why. Alright, and then the next three games all came from Disc Traders, which over, over in Battle Creek, I should say, because there are multiple Disc Traders out there. If you live in the Midwest, I think you probably know about that. And, gosh, like, I could not find any PlayStation 1 games on my list for the longest time from there, but I found three this past month when I went, so I was really happy about that. First one is the cat, Dr. Seuss, the cat in the hat. Next up is the black label version of Croc, Legend of the Gabos. And then a jewel case variant here of Destruction Derby. Which, you know, you could find this game pretty easily, I would say, in the long box. But I don't have any other long box PlayStation 1 games. So, you know, I knew that they had the jewel case variant out there. But it for me, it's, it just seemed like it was a lot harder to find. Um, and then also I've got like Ridge Racer, which was also a long box version that they made a jewel case variant for so really glad to be able to find that because i think it's been quite a while i've been looking for that one all right so next up we will go over the playstation 3 games i got the first one here came from side quest and that is oh geez it's stuck together <laughs> i got buzz quiz world which you need those um, buzz like the buzzers to play this game which I already do have so that actually completes all the buzz games I'm looking for for consoles next up this game came from the store I was talking about in Houghton Lake and that's Lego Lord of the Rings so I definitely I love the Lego games so I definitely look forward to playing that there's only like a couple of more Lego games that I'm looking for to complete what I would like to get so that's good Another game series that seems to hold its value up pretty well, and that's the Dirt series. I got Dirt 2 for uh, PS3. And then the last game here, actually, I got disc only, um, but I had the case to complete this. I actually had bought this game from um, CZ's down in Three Rivers, and when I got home, they are, or yeah, when I got home, I discovered that it was actually they put in the wrong game in here. And it was, I wasn't going back down to a month late, later, anyways, down there because the store is a little bit of a drive for me to go to. So the next month, when I went down to get the right game, they actually could not find it. They act, so when whoever took the trade in, um, took the like wrong disc in with the game. So unfortunately, I was stuck with the case. And manual but no game but I found the game on eBay pretty easily and that's test drive 2 unlimited and this is actually probably about at least a $20 game um, getting disc only obviously wasn't that big of a deal so I'm glad to be able to have that um, all completed now and not have to continue searching for the, the disc for it okay so I think I'll do P PlayStation 2 next and then I'll do GameCube, which are just a couple. And then I got a couple of box games for the Nintendo and Super Nintendo. So first up for PS2, nothing special. This came from Double Jump. I got Madden NFL 07. And then this was the only game I actually got from Treasure Quest this month. Could not find anything else from them. And that's NCAA Football 09. Does not have the manual with it, but... There is uh, a guy on eBay that sells some pretty cheap sports manuals, so I'm going to be getting a manual to complete that from there. This one came from the store up in Houghton Lake as well, and that's State of Emergency, black label version. And then I also got from the same store, Metal Arms Glitch in the System. And then this one was one that seemed to be a hard one to find for me. And I had no idea, actually, this was part of the 
the uh, Army Men series that I really like playing on PlayStation. And, like, I had no idea until, like, someone mentioned it in, like, a video. And that's the game Portal Runner because the girl on there is Vicky from the, 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 the series. And I, I was like, what? Really? I had no idea. So, because of the fact it doesn't have, like, Army Men Sergeant's Heroes in there or anything on the title, you don't know this is part of the series unless you really, I guess, do a lot of research on it, which I unfortunately did not. And then the last game I got here was definitely one that was a little bit more expensive. Um, this one came from Second Chance. It just happened to be sitting out on the shelf. It was not, like, in a special case or anything. And I saw it, and I'm like, well, dang, that game's on my list. I'm going to pick it up while it's here just because of the fact um, you don't see this game, you know, every single day. And that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, if you want to get it on PlayStation 1 and play it, it's a lot cheaper on there. Uh, the PlayStation 2 version goes for around $50. And this is in really nice shape and it is complete. So, really happy uh, about that. Disc and manual are in fantastic shape as well. Okay, now moving on to GameCube games. Uh, one, or I got two. One came from Double Jump, and that's uh, Disney's Tarzan Untamed, which this is going to be more meant for Kathleen than me. And then I got a black label version of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So I had the player's choice before, but I obviously decided, you know, I don't like the way they look on the shelf, like all of like the... the the um, player's choice, greatest hits, platinum hits, you know, for any system that we're talking about. So I decided we're going black label only for games from now on, which and does make it a little bit harder for me to, to track down games. And then I'll have to pass on games too, but really happy to get this. This came from the Broken Sword. And then my last three games, um, first off, I'll show you the game I got from SideQuest, which is another boxed NES game. And that's, that's Dig Dug 2, and this was in really excellent shape. Um, there's not really anything that I can tell that's wrong with, with, with the box um, at all. Um, yeah, this was in excellent shape along with the manual and the game on the inside. I actually, I had the game loose already. I think I actually ended up keeping that one instead of the one that, was, that came in here because I always compare them to make sure which one's better or not. And the last two here um, are just boxes to complete some loose games I had. And these are custom-made boxes. These are not official boxes in any way. Um, and these came from Croatia. And like I said, these are just custom boxes. These are not, you know, official in any way. And so the first box here is a Star Fox 2 box that was made um, for my reproduction copy of Star Fox 2 because it was never officially released. They made the game but never ended up putting it on you know a cartridge. It was eventually put on the Super Nintendo Classic so if you want to play it that's a great way to play it. And then the last one here is I also got a reproduction cartridge over at the Broken Sword for this and now I got the the box to go with it. Like I said not an official box or anything but I just like having it for like display purposes and, and it looks great. But I will never get a reproduction box for a game that was released here in the U.S. at, at all. Like, it has to be, like, official real box. Um, this game was only released in Japan until, it, or I should say probably PAL regions. It was only released in PAL regions until it came to the U.S. on Game Boy Advance. But I wanted to play this one on Super Nintendo. And that's Mega Man and Base. Not Bass, but Mega Man and Bass. So really happy to have a box for that one. Even though it's reproduction, but like I said, you know, the game was never officially released over here. So that'll do it for this month's video of pickups. What did you think? Um, you can post any comments in the comment section below. would love to hear from you. And what are you currently collecting as well? So tune in next month. I will have another round of pickups for you for in October of 2021. Just plan on doing shopping, you know, looking for um, games around my area. Going to probably get a few things off of eBay, but nothing special, just some manuals or things like that. But come November, um, hopefully it'll be happening this year, and it's the Midwest Gaming Classic. I will be attending that, 
and I'm hoping to get a lot of great pickups there. I think November is going to be a good month, not just for the Midwest Gaming Classic, but if I get to go to, um, out of town for Thanksgiving, I plan on doing some Black Friday video game shopping as well, and then also there will be a um, probably a double jump video games like Cyber Monday sale that I'll hit as well. And actually, Double Jump Video Games is doing a sale for the month, not for the month of October, but for, like, I think it's going to be the last day of September and the first day of October, they're, they're, they're doing, like, an online sale. They just got done doing a, um in-store sale. So I always buy from them every month. I love supporting Cooper and, and Abby. They have a, uh, from what I see on their vlogs, they're, they're great people and they have a great store and I love supporting them. So that'll do it for this month. Mikey Screw, you guys are the best. Take care. Thank you for watching so much. Yeah.